lose time on my streams. I start talking about random stuff. Okay, so let's get into the moment of truth, episode one. It's the show everyone in America has been talking about for the last three months, and it's finally here. It is the simplest game on television. One participant, 21 questions, and all that is required is the willingness to tell. All right, can y'all hear the show? Let me know. Can y'all hear the show? There's 21 questions. Well, nobody told them to go on the show. They want to get money. That's why they on the show. That's why. My optic nerves. Hold on. My optic nerves never formed all the way, so I can't drive, sadly. Oh, dang. That's unfortunate. Sorry to hear that. Mr. Sell out. Uh, they normally don't give glasses that young because your eyes are still changing at that age. And sometimes it seems like you'll need it and then you'll grow out of it. Yeah. Well, I've never not needed my glasses. So, yeah, we don't have a great relationship. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah. It's loud. Okay. Y'all want me to turn it down some? Turn it down some. The truth. Have you ever thought that your boyfriend, Jeff, might be gay? It might just be the your father for tearing your family apart. Is there a part of your husband's body? Bro, this show has a whole two minute intro? That's crazy. Hold on, I'm trying to see if it's just the intro. Prior to tonight's show, all of our contestants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't know the results of that test. If they tell the truth, they can win up to a half a million dollars. Let's meet our first participant. So y'all wouldn't expose y'all family for uh, a half a million dollars? Y'all wouldn't expose it? Uh, Angela Carolyn X says my phone died, so I'm on my other account, Baldy BR. <sighs> Angela, you just be looking to get put in timeout. Like, you just be looking to get put in timeout. Like, it's not even funny at this point. Like, it's not even funny. Like, you you're, you just want to be in the corner. Like, you just want to be. But, um, y'all, let me know. Tarek Kek is a 31-year-old so, personal trainer from Kansas. He is a former professional... Let's see. Let me turn it down just a little bit more. Let me see. Play. And he has been married for over two years. He was asked over 50 questions by... All right, so does that sound better, y'all? Let me know. Let me know if that sound better. Uh, if they... If they talk about my grandma on the show, I'm fighting someone. Dang, why your grandma? <laughs> they talk about your grandma. <laughs> uh, my family would be making a game plan. If it pays my college debt, then yes. Oh, Dylan, you said you're giving up the family. huh? Uh, it's a lot of money. Half a million dollars is a lot of money. But also, you got to remember that that's before tax, too. So uh, purse love. What's up? It sounds better. OK. All right. I think I'm too boring for a show like this. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. You probably got some things that people want to hear. Polygraph exam. 21 of those questions have been chosen. I think what it is, is that it seems like this quality was like ripped off of a VHS or something. So like the audio for show is jacked. Ty Keck, this is your moment of truth. Feeling. A little nervous, but you know, I'm ready to win some money. Well, good. I'm, I'm ready to. Jada, appreciate you for the resub. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. I changed my name, but I'm still your favorite supporter. Yeah, why you change your name? That was hurtful. Like, why? You didn't have to change your name. You didn't have to. But I do appreciate you for resubscribing. It's been a very long time since I've seen you. Welcome to the chat. I help you. Are you going to be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? That's my goal, man. I He looks like he was in the military. Six levels of questions. The further you go, the harder the questions you get, but the more money you can win. You know you can quit at any time and take the money, but once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. If you're caught lying, Ty, you lose everything and the game is over. Ty, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, you're also here telling it in front of your family and friends. So let's take a moment to see who's come here tonight to hear you tell the truth. I'm Katja, Ty's wife. I'm April, Ty's friend. Martez, Ty's friend. Welcome to all three of you. Trip 1FO, thank you for following. Appreciate you. Separate Ty Keck from $500,000, but the road through those questions can get very personal. Are you ready for this? Yeah. 
All right, you ready? Let's do it. Let's get to it. Okay, sir. Level one has six questions. Answer all six truthfully, you win ten thousand dollars. I want to remind you, if you are ever concerned about the answers you gave, honestly, on your this show is kind of—it's like making a deal with the devil, right? They start off like it start. I'm sure the, the first question is going to be something very easy that he can just, oh yeah, true, and it's just going to keep progressively just getting crazier, crazy. Because there's no way that they're going to make the five hundred thousand dollar question an easy one. Like that's too oh, much right. money on a line. You can change them tonight. Before we get started, we're going to learn a little bit about my good friend Ty. You're a personal trainer. Yes. Take your job pretty seriously? Very seriously, yeah. Uh-oh. Question one. Have you ever slept with a client? Have you ever canceled an appointment with a client for being sick when you really weren't? <laughs> See? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's still his reputation. Uh, yes. That answer is... True. I don't understand. Why did the audience say all oh, like they ain't never called out of work because they, you know, they was sick or tired or whatever. Like we've all done it regardless of how much you love your job. One down. Five more truthful answers. I get you $10,000. Are you in better shape now than when you played professional football? Uh, no, not really. I had a knee injury, so I actually I'm in worse shape. You think? Yeah. Would you say he's in great shape? He's in great shape. Question two. <laughs> she had a flashback. Have you ever admired yourself in the mirror after taking a shower? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> There's why is just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> that answer is. Why was that so difficult? True. Uh oh. Two truthful answers, four more, ten thousand dollars. I understand you grew up in a small town in Kansas, right? Yep. Are you a small town guy with small town values? Pretty much see myself as that, you know. Yeah. Question three. Oh, you... I didn't realize that he has to answer five or seven questions to get the one hundred, uh, to get the ten thousand. I thought he only had to answer one. Oh, I missed that. You hit someone else's he car looks goofy. and not left a note. Oh, I'm curious. Have y'all ever hit somebody's car and not left a note? <laughs> I want to see how many of y'all are willing to, like, <laughs> incriminate yourself on this live stream. <laughs> There's a 10-second delay, so some of y'all are already going to be like, yeah, I've done it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't incriminate yourself. Just kidding. I don't drive, so no. Yes, I have. True. And three. That on TV, though. Three more, ten thousand dollars. What kind of car did you hit? Well, there's probably been more than one, but. <laughs> Get back to you in a second. Let's go talk to family and friends for a moment. Katya. You're excited about today? Very excited. Not nervous at all? Yes, I'm nervous. I don't know the answer, so I want to know. You do have some control. If I ask a question and you don't want to hear the answer, quickly step forward and hit this button. You hit that button. I won't allow him to answer the question that has just been asked. We will replace it with a new question. You can only use it once, though. Also Dang. remember that the question I replace it with, I have no idea if that's going to be better or worse. OK? OK. Well, then let's continue, that's shall we? You got three right. You're on your way to $10, Why did they wait until the third question to say that, though? Why didn't they explain that to them at the very beginning? We talked a little bit about you playing football. You were a professional football player. So I assume you obviously played college football. Yeah. Where, did, where did you play? I played at the University of Cincinnati. Bearcat. Bearcat. Yeah, great, great school. Question four. While you were in college, did you ever get a passing grade just because oh, you were come on, on the football team? Come on. Come on. We already know how this goes.
<laughs> Go ahead and tell the truth. Actually, no. That answer is... $10,000. So Somehow that was a true. When you I'm surprised. Well, since I'm not on the lie detector test, 4.0. Attaboy. <laughs> Are you and your buddies pretty close? I think so, yeah. Uh oh. Question five Do you think you're the best looking of all your friends? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a question. Do y'all think that you are the best looking? Out of all your friends, I um, definitely want to know this answer. Let's talk about it. He's thinking real hard. Why is it taking five minutes just to get the answer? Because this was back in the 90s, y'all. Remember how y'all was telling me about the big date? That's the whole thing. It was for dramatic effect. Of course, we don't get the dramatic effect because we're impatient. But you know what I'm about to do? This is what I'm about to do. Ooh, no, 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 no. This is what I'm about to do. I forgot that I can do this. So we're going we're gonna to speed this up. We're going to speed it up. So don't you worry about that. Uh, that's unfortunate. No, definitely not. No, I am not at all. Um, no, no, I am not. Okay, what friends? Angela talking about yes, just kidding. Okay, I know that you're lying. Uh, Lily, you said, ew, I'm a goblin? A goblin? What? Oh, boy. Considering me, uh, considering one of my friends is a performer, definitely not. Okay. Uh, we all look pretty. Hmm. Okay. All right. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, you said I don't need to pause it. I'm definitely going to, cause I'm not going to keep talking over the show. Like, cause I know that it's already hard to hear me while the show's going on. So I'm definitely going to pause it. And also this is going on YouTube. So I'm going to have to anyways. Uh, no, I think my best friend is the best looking, but I give myself second. All my friends are beautiful though. Uh, I'm not the best looking of my friends, but I ain't the worst either. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Oh, <laughs> Dylan said I'm just tall, so no. Yes. <laughs> he was honest. True. He's got a great smile. Why am I shady? Consolation I, prize. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> All right. What do you miss most about playing football? Uh, the friendship, team spirit, camaraderie, all that stuff. I have a ten thousand dollar moment of truth question for you, but oh, I'm not going to ask it. We have a special guest. If that's okay. I'd like to bring that special guest out now. Former NFL quarterback, one of the hosts of the best damn sports show, period. Ladies and gentlemen, Rock and Pete. Rodney, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to be here. My pleasure, my pleasure to help out a fellow football player. Are you kidding me? That's right. And I know you have a good question because we don't give away $10,000 easily. So That's right. It's all yours. All right, here we go. Question six. As a football player, did you ever sneak a peek at another player's privates <laughs> while taking a shower? While taking a shower? Well, well. Yes. I think all the football players do. True. Thank you very much for being here. Well, that's a thrill. Hey, that was, that was a lot of questions for ten thousand. I figured that was ten thousand dollars. Had to take a look, didn't you? <laughs> we got to see who we're going to make fun of. I guess you never know if you're the best looking guy of all your friends unless you check them out in the shower. So. The good crazy. news is, we've asked you some questions that are a little bit sticky, but you did it. Truthful through six questions, 10,000. Did you say you wondered if men take a peek when they're peeing? Now that's different. That's for sure different. That is different. I don't know. The shower is like, I guess, if you walking in, whatever, but peeing? Yeah, no, there's a rule on that. You definitely don't, you know, you keep that damn head straight. Like, that is the law in the bathroom. Every guy knows that. Uh, sneak a peek, probably slap test each other. 
Yeah, you, you Jordan, got wild. And as you, you probably know, this, this is a great time. If you like, get up, walk out with your friends. Ten thousand dollars is yours, yours to keep. However, if you decide to keep going. We risk that ten thousand dollars every time I start a new question. But here's where you are. You've answered six to get to ten thousand. All you have to do now is answer five to get to the next level, twenty-five thousand dollars. Remember, the questions will get more personal. So, talk to Scott and your friends. What do you want to do? You can take the ten grand, or we're gonna go for twenty-five. Oh, she don't even know what's ahead. She don't know. Alright, we're gonna make it twenty-five thousand dollars. I have to join us after we break to find out. Right back. There better not be a freaking AARP in this. Like the other one. Why was this the most replayed? Oh boy, this question's probably gonna get juicy. The moment of truth continues. The moment of truth. You almost have 80 people in your chat, Billy. That's crazy. Shout out to y'all, by the way. You know, I can't think of an easier game. You tell the truth, you win money. Simple as that. Or do you want to go for $25,000? The questions get more personal, harder to answer, more revealing to answer. So if you want to stop, stop at any point. Go. Speaking of your beautiful wife, Katya, does she work out? Yeah, she works out. Why do you? I don't know. If Katya developed a flabby stomach, would you encourage her to get life protection? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> that answer is true. That's kind of true. Any four more to get to twenty-five thousand dollars, Katya? Anything you want to say? Yeah, I thought you'd say no. How well does your wife get along with your friends? Well, depends on the situation, but <laughs> she seems pretty good. Question eight. Have you ever suspected one of your friends of making a play for Tatiana? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And he's probably sitting on that damn couch. <laughs> he's, he's probably sitting on that couch next to her right now. I'm sure of it. Look, he he guilty. He guilty as hell. Oh. Yes. That answer is true. Look, look. You see that guilty? <laughs> Yo, he's like, please don't ask this man who. Don't ask this man who. Like, yo. The key word was respect. Right. So what do you like to do for fun? Woo, they the moved past it. The sporting events, you know, hang out. Question nine. Have you ever had sexual relations with someone the very same day you met them? Well, that's not a... That's not a bad question. He gonna say yes. He a football player. Yes. That answer is... Well. True. I ain't gonna lie to you. The look on his wife's face, it looks like it looks like that didn't happen with them. So she's like, what? What chicken head was you? Ugh. Like, she looked disgusted a little bit. Not clapping. Not clapping. Anything you like jealous? About that? Yeah. 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 Sweep that under the rug. <laughs> All right, you don't have to answer that. You have nine truthful answers, two more, $25,000. But remember, as soon as I begin the next question, you risk your $10,000. I can see why the show got canceled. You want to stop, I'm going to stop before I start reading the question. Remember, the button is still in play for something you don't want to hear. Are you trustworthy? Sure. So, you want me to go to the next question? I didn't come to win $10,000. You didn't come to stay married either. Question 10. Is there something you have done that could cause Katya not to trust you? Starting to get juicier, y'all. Starting to get juicier, y'all. Oh, shoot. Yes. Where it goes downhill. True. That's it. One more. $25,000. Ty, that is a, uh, a tough question. 
you have any suspicions what it might be? I have no idea. You have no idea. Anything you want to say? No. Don't say you're nothing. A bigger hole, you're so. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me just let you know this. You have 10 true plans. You have $10,000. One more question. $25,000, but at what cost? Question exactly. 10 was tough. Nothing you even want to talk about. I'm looking at question 11 here. It might be very easy for you. It also could be much more difficult than 10. I don't I'd like ask. how my boy is playing with his mind, though. Like, whoa, he's uncomfortable. Yes, very uncomfortable. Very. Uh... I feel like they've been together for a long time, and that's why she was mad at the other question. He better be quiet. <laughs> it's a tough question. You have answers. So I late. think I think what happened is they asked them some of these questions before they went on the live show and had them hooked up to a lie detector test. So that's how they're able to tell if they're telling the truth. I think they did it before they went up. I think that's how it works. Uh, lovely me, what's up? Welcome to the chat. It's good to see you. That's really all you have to do to win money. How much money are you gonna win, Ty? We'll have to find out that after this. We'll be right back. Nah, you would, have, you would have to ask yourself, is it really worth $25,000? Is your marriage worth $25,000? Cause you're gonna spend that in, on the divorce. Easy. We're back with the moment of truth. Ty Keck, former pro football player. How you feeling like I'm ready to get to make a question, you know that. <laughs> He's like, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let's okay. not think about the other ones too This is your $25,000 moment of truth. Oh shoot. I'm nervous Question for 11. Since you've been married, have you used the internet to work with other women? Yes. I don't. I don't, but I would. No. That answer is. She don't believe it. so nervous keep this better be truth and this better be the truth true oh <laughs> plot twist i just knew so this so yeah this was before like our time because you know if, if someone were to ask that question now like <laughs> he up out of there everybody up out of there at this point because then it comes down to like how do you define flirting you know because your flirting may not be what I think is flirting or what I think is flirting. You may not look at it as flirting, you know. But, yeah, if that was answered, if that was asked today, up out of here, bro. But I ain't going to lie. Though, all that fidgeting, it seemed like he was guilty. He didn't even believe himself when he said it. Yeah, he, he looked like, whew, I got past the lie detector test on that one. Good for you, Ty. Oh, you boy. now have $25,000. Here's a question that when I read it, Rosie says, Get Tom Brady on this show. Tom Brady is way too rich to ever like subject himself to this. Like, way too rich. Yes, I am. There we go. He wouldn't waste his time. Here's where you are. You only have to answer four more questions truthfully. If you get through four questions, four times the money, $100,000. What do you want to do? <laughs> Uh, would you do this if you ever got married? I don't know if I can do that when I had a husband. First of all, Angela, aren't you 19 or something? Didn't you say you was 19? You said when you had a husband? I don't know. But would I do it if I was married? Sure. Sure. Yeah, I would. I sure would because I wouldn't have anything to hide. Because nine times out of ten, the person that I'm married to, they're going to know everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. They're going to know. So, hell yeah, I will go on a show and win this money for a show. Oh, you've revealed too much. Yeah. Stop. That's an interesting logic. Others might say, I've revealed too much. I should stop. <laughs> but if you're comfortable, I'm comfortable. Tati, are you comfortable? No. You're not. Yeah, she took her jacket off. She is not comfortable. No. No. I want to keep going. So you'd be more comfortable with $100,000? Uh, I'm curious. You're curious? Yeah. She has other reasons for you to continue. Motives, yeah. Amber Heard? Okay, we're going to oh, continue boy. that. So, I see you now you've been married. You said two and a half years. Really, you two are just starting your lives out together. Where do you want to be in five years, Ty? Five years. You know, I'd like to have a couple kids. Nice, good job, and a nice home. Nice, good job. This news to you? It looks like it. the kids. But... <laughs> Question 12. 
do you think you've delayed having children because you're not sure if Katya will be your lifelong partner? has officially left the room like like I felt that and he wasn't even talking about me whoa oh man you see the look on her face like oh I mean like ha 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 that's 12 truthful answers She's Three trying more to keep it together. She's trying to keep it together. But at what cost, Ty? Katya, that can't be great to hear. April, what did you say to Katya? I asked her if um, hearing this is worth $100,000. What's the answer, Katya? You know, you can stop now. We don't have to reveal anything more. And you have $25,000. I know, I know. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That, that curiosity is killing a cat. Like, as much as it hurts for her to hear it, she still wants to know. Oh. That see, that's the thing about opening Pandora's box, man. Like once you jump into that rabbit hole, it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. It's never ending, man. No. This this is not good. I would love to look up their 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 names and see if they're if they you know if they're still together now. Yeah. You've answered twelve truthfully. You've revealed some somewhat shocking revelations, and it is getting tense. I want you to think about. What you would like to do, and I want you to tell me, are we going to play for $100,000 or are we going to say goodbye to you for $25,000? We'll find out when we return. She's going to let him win the money so she can take half. Welcome back to the Moment of Truth. I'm here with Ty Keck and his beautiful wife, Katya, and April. Martez are here as well, and uh, you are at a very interesting place. You have 12 truthful. Question 13 is next. Shall we continue? Let's go. Okay. Very competitive, I see. People who want personal trainers really want results. They're paying a lot of money. So you give your clients a real workout? Yeah, I give him his, his He's about to ask you if he's ever slept with a client. Question 13. As a personal trainer, have you touched a female client I, I more than was required of I you? I knew it. Yo. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. No. That answer is. He seems choked up. False. You mean to tell me out of all the freaking questions, you should have lied on the one about your wife at least, bro. This is the question that you choose to cover up out of all of them? Oh my. Yeah, you're a dummy, bro. Like, if you was going to go out, you might as well have gone out with a bang, man. Like, for real. You might as well have gone out with a bang, because... Wow. Ty, I'm so sorry. The polygraph exam determined that your answer to this question was false, that it was a lie. Why do you think it came up false? Well, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, when you're training people, yeah, you, you're, you gotta physically touch them. Right. But what's required, you know. You know, Ty, I think you're probably a great personal trainer. You have a great sense of humor, very forthright. I wish you and your beautiful wife the best. Unfortunately, Ty, the $25,000 you had is gone. Ty, thank you very much, Tasha. Thank you, Martez. He went through all of that and got zero? Huh? Bruh. It wasn't even worth it. Like, it wasn't even worth it. Yeah, with your friends and your beautiful wife. Ty 
Tech is a brave guy. I thought he was going to make it all the way to the top. But question 13 got him, so we say goodbye to Ty Tech. Did y'all see? Did y'all see? <laughs> I know y'all saw it. I know his wife is pissed, and he's trying to act like they didn't just do this show. Dummy. <laughs> oh, they're done. There's no need to do any Googles on them. They are done. Ready for a new participant. Let's meet them now. Oh, she is so pissed. George Ortuzar is a 46-year-old marketing manager from Miami, Florida. He is a divorced father. Okay, so I'm assuming that George didn't do that hot. Like, he lied pretty early on because there's only, like, 20 minutes left of this show. George didn't make it that far. Three, and is currently living with his girlfriend and her two children. He was asked over 50 questions by... He looked like a serial family. killer. 21 of those questions have been chosen for tonight. Jordan Ortuzar, this is your moment of My truth. bad. That's somebody's great-grandfather right now. Shout out to George. But your great granddaddy looked like a serial killer. Hello, George. Hello, Mike. Nice to meet you. Good to be here. So, are you ready to tell the truth in front of all of America? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. There are six levels of special, George. The further you go, the harder the special you get, the more money there is for you to win. You can quit at any time. George looks us. Yes. But you hear a question. Pierce you have to on Q, what's up? Welcome to the chat. It's good to see you. Lying, even once. Yep. Game is over. You lose everything. Hi. You understand this. I understand it. All right, very good, George. You're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, you're also telling it in front of your family and friends. Let's see who's come here tonight to hear George tell the truth. Hi, my name is Lily. I'm George's girlfriend. My name is Pedro. I'm not Lily's uncle. Not for long. I'm Mike. I'm George's boss. <laughs> my question to you guys, are you ready for this? Yeah. In that case, let's begin. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go for it. Woo. Level one has six questions. Hey, George did a line. Truthfully, <laughs> Before he went on the show, he did a line. <laughs> if you have a concern about an answer you gave on your polygraph exam, don't worry, you can change that tonight. Okay? okay? Find out a little bit about our friend George. I know you're an energetic person. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Are you an inquisitive person? Pretty inquisitive. Uh, curious? Curious. Yeah? <laughs> energetic, though. <laughs> Question one. Have you ever gone through a co-worker's private belongings without their knowledge? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Is that his friend? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That answer is <laughs> true. That's one truthful answer. Five more ten thousand dollars is on me that I hope you definitely on that book of sugar. About your work and your boss right here. He might have stole some of the hair at the top. Never mind. Mike looks like that. Um, that one character from Toy Story, you know, the one that stole Woody at the garage sale. Was it Woody or Buzz? I don't know, but he, he looked like a healthier version of him. <laughs> when did you go? Shout out to this guy, man. Uh, First of all, shout out to this guy. That's again, that's somebody's great grandfather. Shout out to him. Just today. <laughs> I don't know. I had to go to somebody else's desk. You get a phone number. That's all right, bro. Like, I'm ugly too. I'm ugly too. That's what I. That's what I. I said all that to say that I'm ugly too, man. But, uh, but it wasn't you, Mike. My ball wasn't you. Man. You never go to your cup. <laughs> you have one truthful answer. Let's get you some more. George, you a religious person? Raised a Catholic. Yeah. An altar boy. You know. Altar boy. I know. I am boy scout. I don't know. <laughs> so you spent some time in math. Spent some time in math. <laughs> Question two. The fried chicken dude, yes. Have you ever had a sexual fantasy? Always for you. Hope you have a good night. <laughs> yes. That answer is true. And yeah. so it doesn't matter if you're dirt, if work, if, you know, uh, you're thinking about it. Especially when you're a teenager, you know. I was in math a lot when I was younger. Uh, yeah. so it's not that bad. Though. George, you're a great hold on. We'll be right back in a moment. When we come back, more questions for George. Let's see if he tells the truth. Right after this. George is going to lie on something goofy. Like, I just know it. He's going to lie on something goofy. The moment of truth continues. Truth, sitting here with a very excited George Ordazar. Feeling pretty confident? Feeling confident. Two truthful answers, four more, $10,000. Seem to be in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape so far. Do you work out? Not at all. No, shape I of what? Like 35 pounds in the last like two years. I just like to eat, I don't know. Question three. Do you consider yourself to be better looking than most men your age? How old is he? Is he 60? 
If so, yes. My answer is yes. That answer is... Even his girl don't feel confident about that one. <laughs> like, I know. True. Indies, what's up? Welcome to the chat. It's good to see you. How are you? It's your first time here. Appreciate you. How old are you? I'm 46. 46. Are you really 46? 46. You look terrific. Thank you so much. Billy, you're a good girlfriend. You think you look pretty good for He's 46? I think so. Yeah, I do too. I would have never guessed he was 46. 35? That's what I thought when I met him. You know, I want to take a moment and say hello to you guys. I know you're sort of sitting here a little powerless in the whole process. We've just started. That's three questions. As we go through this process, assuming he does well, we're going to get to harder questions. Those questions are going to be very personal. If he you is over 40. That you really don't want him to answer for whatever those reasons. Quickly lean forward at this button. <laughs> he looks good for that, 80. Stop the question. You won't let him answer. We will replace that question. That's with another crazy. Question. You can only use that button once. That's though. crazy. And you have no control oh, over what goodness. the replacement question will be. We talked about how good looking you are. You are <laughs> in great shape for uh, 46. I mean, uh, that's not old, but you sure look younger than that. How do you keep your good luck? I got secrets. I got secrets. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Good response. Question four. Are you currently a member of the hair club for men? I don't even believe that. That stuff actually works for real. Well, we know his boy's not. <laughs> yes. Okay, spit it out. Why is he so extra? He can't help it. He, he, he did a line before he went up. True. That's four triple. Two more ten thousand dollars. So some of this is yours. Some of this, some of it you won't. I'm convinced everybody makes it past the ten thousand. I'm convinced. You could use it even when you go swimming. You know, you see the guy going. You have four truthful answers, two more, $10,000. Where do you work? I work at Hollywood Park. Uh, it's a racetrack here in uh, Los Angeles. I'm the marketing manager, and my boss is right there. Question five. Your boss is your friend? Have you ever considered you might be addicted to gambling? Oh, we're talking about addictions now. I don't like losing money, so I would never have a gambling problem. My answer is definitely yes. Definitely. That answer is. True. Wow. Five people answer. Not easy question. One more ten thousand dollars. I wonder if that's why you he lives with his girlfriend. Have a gambling problem. Uh, I don't know. I, you know, I've, I've, I've tried and uh, just uh. I just, I just love, love gambling. It's definitely affected my life in the past. I mean, it's definitely this money that I, lots of money I've lost. But uh, you know, I, I, uh, I got to admit to myself that you know, something, that, one of my problems. Do you handle all the finances in the house? <laughs> no, I mean after years of experience uh, with my previous wife, uh, we've decided that she's going to handle all the money in the house. <laughs> well, Question six for ten thousand dollars. You have a bank account your girlfriend doesn't know about. I mean, they're not married, so technically she don't gotta know. But I'm assuming they share finances. Uh-oh. No. That answer is. That wasn't believable. That's what I get for 10 grand. What's 500,000 going to be like? <laughs> George, congratulations. Thank you, you so answered, much. Thank you answered uh, some questions that were actually quite pointed for the first round. And you did it great. Thank you. I don't know how he made it past that one for real. I don't know. just got here. We're having a great time. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. But if you leave now, you have $10,000. I don't money. know. Okay. That one I thought if he was going to lose. I'm surprised. a little shorter, but not easier. 
Next level, you get $25,000. You have to answer five questions truthfully. One this show line, making me nervous. It's that gambling fund. So what do you want to do? Say do. I saw Lily say go for it. I saw your boss, Mike, say go for it. Uncle Pedro, what do you <laughs> say? Say go for it. Okay. So get the money, baby. I play poker now. He loved the game. I'm going for it. Okay. <laughs> All right. George, George, oh, he be gambling with him. That's why they're friends. He's a gambler, and he's going to gamble that $10,000. That's that's why they're friends. Okay, so there's not too much longer of this show. This dude's about to get out on something goofy. It's going to be something gambling related, I'm sure, because there's only like three minutes. But now I see why he's friends with his manager, because he works all them hours, probably has that fool do overtime just to shake him when he come over to his house to play poker. He don't even see it. After this, he don't even see it. He's like, yeah, go ahead and work all them hours for me. Go ahead. He a pimp. Now that I think about it, he is a pimp. Welcome back to Moment of Truth. We are here with George Cortazar. What a great smile, great energy. He seems to be a great guy. And in the first six questions, there were questions that were pretty difficult to answer. You still feel okay? Feel okay. You know, I'm, I'm pretty open about a lot of things. And uh, I see that. I, I, uh, I'm trying to be as truthful as I can. And, uh, and I'm the next weirdo says hi, Finkel yes. Dingles. The, the next weirdo, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to the chat. So let's talk about truth. You tend to exaggerate things. Sometimes I exaggerate the truth a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah. Question seven. Have you ever padded your underwear to look more well endowed? Yo, that's unnecessary. That is unnecessary. She's looking like, well, you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, actually, the answer is yes. <laughs> oh. That answer is true. Don't be ashamed, bro. The night you met Lily? I was like, this was good, this was good, this was good. Maybe I'll leave a little help there. He's honest. I'm embarrassed. Well, you know, some of these questions can't be embarrassed. <laughs> George, I'm dying to see how far you're going to take this game, but unfortunately, we're going to have to wait till next time because we're all out of time. Oh, hell see no. You next time, right here for the Moment of Truth with George Ordazar. See you then. Oh, hell no. So I was wrong. I thought that he got out on some goofiness, but they part two'd us to confessions. Damn. All right, well, I guess, I guess it's a good thing that we're going to get into part two anyways. What time is it? Hold on. Before I do part two, what time is it? Nine, so, okay, we got time. We could do part two.